Hello. Today we're taking a look at the card Twin Twister. This was suggested by Zephyros and Dueling Network Forums. So I was like, alright, I like that card. Also because it used it two days ago in Gimmick Puppets. And I actually quite like it in that deck. Twin Twister is a new quick play um, spell card. It will be releasing, as you can see, Breakers of Shadow. Just been releasing OCG. It will be a little while before it's in TCG, like <clears throat> three months, I think. Quick play spell card, quite simple. Discard one card, then target up to two spell trap cards in the field and destroy them. It's up to two, so you can also just target one. And it's destroy them, not to destroy both of them. So let's say you target two, but one is gone before you resolve it, the other one will still be destroyed. Um, so you take out two spell and traps, which is in the sense slightly stronger MSD. But you need to discard a card, and generally a discard isn't what you want, because card advantage pretty darn useful. However, this can work out in decks that like you discarding. Dark Worlds? No! Because Dark Worlds only get their effects when discarded via card effect. Twin Twister discards is cost. Cost is not card effect. It's what you pay to activate the effect. However, there are some archetypes, or just monsters specifically, that I have their effects activate, or apply, when sent to the graveyard through any means, or just sent from hand to graveyard. Twin Twister can help with that. Burning Abyss monsters, they don't care how they hit the graveyard, as long as they hit the graveyard. So you can play Twin Twister in Burning Abyss, discard a Burning Abyss, destroy two cards, and you still get your Burning Abyss effect. Pretty nice, right? Fables have, this, have a similar thing. They just have to be discarded to the graveyard. So, like, they won't activate if they go to the grave for as Xyz material, like the Burning Abyss monsters, but they need to be discarded. They don't see, they don't say discarded as card effect, or sent to the grave as card effect, like, um, I don't remember the exact wording in Dark Worlds, but it needs to be for card effect. Um, Fables, they just have to be discarded to the graveyard, so from hand to grave, with the specific term, discard. This card has that, so Fables will activate. I use it in Gimmick Puppets. Sure, like, Gimmick Puppets don't necessarily activate in the grave, but there's quite a few cards in the graveyard that could activate. Yes, I run Junk Puppet, so I could just send something to them, revive it via Junk Puppet. Hungry Dumpty, maybe, so I could then summon something else from my hand. Uh, Shadow Feeler has an effect that activates in the graveyard. Having it in the hand isn't really useful. Um, was it Necrodoll? Uh, it's called Drury Doll in TCG. Drury Doll in your hand isn't that great either. So, that would be a great discard for Twin Twister. So you can use their effects from the graveyard to summon them back and do stuff like do stuff that way. If you look at the card Twin Twister, what you'll notice is a few cards that are actual cards. Um, this is from Magical Hats. We have the Ancient Telescope. I This has to be a card as all, well, but I don't remember what. This is uh, OCG Monster Reborn, so that's probably going to change in TCG, because TCG can't have that, because religion. Um, this is either to the stray lamps or to the sheep tokens. Let's see, sheep tokens have orange, yellow, red, blue? This one's pink, so very like these are the stray lamps. I don't remember what colors they have, or what the difference really is between the sheep tokens and stray lamps looks-wise. Um... Does it go into tips? Not a lot. It can be searched by not that many cards. Works well with Fabled and Burning Abyss. Discard the Fabled Cancet. Destroy face up card. Let's remember what that does. When this card is discarded to the graveyard, select one face up card on the field and destroy it. Could work without two spell traps and the one face up card, which can be another spell trap, a pendulum like card in the pendulum zone, a cliffhard scout, a field spell like pandemonium. Uh, that can work, alright. Trivia for Twin Twister. Ancient Telescope. Horn of Light. Oh, I thought it was some kind of spirit ghosty thing. But the Horn of Light does work. I thought it was a spirit ghosty thing with some extra lights around it. It was Horn of Light with the beads. Okay, I can see that. Uh, Japanese is... They were sheep tokens? <sighs> what? Booyah 
yellow, orange. They're not red. <clears throat> it's like, it is red. This is pink. It looks pink. <laughs> That's cheating. That's cheating. I call cheating. It looks pink. Also, this doesn't. This. Uh, come on. It looks like a spirit thing. No, I guess no. This would have to be the part that attached the head. Um. Man, I can sort of see, sort of see the horn. Man, and the beads. Yeah, now that I really closely look at it, I can see it. But I can also definitely see why I thought it was a spirit ghosty thing. All right, that was um, the Yu-Gi-Oh discussion video for today. Twin Twister, if you have any um, ideas how you could use the card, what kind of decks, what kind of strategies will you use it, and would you feel this will be used a lot or just very little? Of uh, the decks that I've named, Gimmick Puppets, Fables, um, Burning Abyss, do you think this card will be ran a lot in those decks or not? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the video tomorrow. Goodbye.